12 mind-blowing football tricks that have been banned Football is a beautiful game that is full of tricks that dazzle us on the pitch. But every now and then, a player takes it too far, pushing the boundaries and forcing the rule makers to step in. That's exactly what we're diving into today. The top 12 mind-blowing football tricks that have been banned from the game. And let's kick things off with a skill that sent shockwaves through the whole league. Kicking off our list with a move that had referees reaching for their cards, the Triple Helix Flick. Just imagine a player juggling the ball between their feet, adding not one, not two, but three spin kicks before launching the ball into the air. Insane, right? This move was first made famous by incredible players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, and the amazing JJ Okocha. The flick's unique spinning motion made it extremely challenging for goalkeepers to anticipate and react to the ball's movement. As a result, goalkeepers were left with limited time to respond or defend against such kicks. This gave the kicker an unfair advantage. So, in the interest of maintaining fair competition and preserving the integrity of the game, the triple helix flick got banned. Goalkeepers also have a sneaky trick up their sleeves. It's called the taunting technique, where they use mind games to psych out penalty takers. This became a trend on the pitch, with goalies trying to get inside the minds of their opponents before the crucial shot. But then came Emiliano Martinez, who took this technique to a whole new level in a decisive match. His creative antics not only drew attention, but also raised eyebrows at FIFA headquarters. They realized that such antics were crossing the line between sportsmanship and unfair play. As a result, a new rule was introduced to ensure fair play during penalty kicks. Goalkeepers are now prohibited from touching the goalposts or nets or attempting to distract the taker in any way. This rule aimed to keep the focus on skill and execution, promoting an even playing field for both the penalty taker and the goalkeeper. And now, get ready to be blown away by a skill that defies even the laws of physics. The gravity-defying header. Imagine players becoming experts at using headers to change the ball's direction while it's in the air, making it seem like the ball slows down and defies gravity. One player who particularly excelled in this gravity-defying art was Cristiano Ronaldo. With his exceptional athleticism and timing, Ronaldo seemed to suspend time itself as he jumped above defenders to play these jaw-dropping headers. But in the interest of player safety, FIFA eventually introduced strict guidelines regarding aerial challenges and banned this trick. And just when you thought the excitement couldn't get any crazier, hold on to your seats for the forbidden reverse rainbow flick. This move involves flicking the ball backward over your head, leaving defenders wondering if it's even legal. The reverse rainbow flick truly took the world by storm. This mind-blowing trick didn't just impress fans, it sparked lively debates among football lovers everywhere. In this trick, a player faces a defender and suddenly, they flick the ball up with the front of their foot. But here's where the magic happens. Instead of letting the ball bounce over them, as in a regular rainbow flick, they use the other foot to flick it backward over their head. This trick pushed the boundaries of what's possible with the football, forcing the rule makers to reevaluate the game's dynamics. Ever heard of the underground nutmeg? This sneaky move involves sliding the ball under the opponent's legs, catching them off guard and creating an opening that's almost unfair. No wonder it was eventually banned. It's like an optical illusion on the field. Get ready to be wowed by the superhuman slide. So picture this, you're watching a game and suddenly a player decides to go all out superhero. They slide across the field like they're on a super speed roller coaster, snatching the ball from the opponent's feet with ninja-like accuracy. It's as if they borrowed a page from those cool comic books where heroes do amazing things. Just think about it, one moment they're here and the next, whoosh! They've covered more ground than a rabbit chasing a carrot. It's like watching a wizard cast a spell of speed and precision. If you thought controlling a football was tough, get ready for the bungee ball control. Have you ever seen players make a soccer ball their best friend? Well, this is it. They've got some serious Jedi-like skills going on. <laughs> Do you know how sometimes controlling a soccer ball can be like catching a slippery fish? Not for these players. It's like their feet and the ball have their own secret language. They make it move left, right, spin, and stop, all with a flicker of ease, as if they've got some kind of soccer superpower. Now, picture the opponents trying to keep up. It's like watching a comedy sketch where the characters are chasing a balloon in the wind. 
The ball stays close to the bungee ball control master, but not too close. Just close enough to drive the opponent a bit bonkers. Next, we've got the shirt catch. It's all about trapping the ball inside the jersey and taking a little jog around the field. Imagine the chaos if players decided to tuck the ball into their shirts and make a run for it. This move often falls under the same rules as using your arm to control the ball. It usually results in a handball penalty. But here's an interesting twist. Players are allowed to use this trick during goal celebrations. Many players use this move to share exciting news, like expecting a child or celebrating their partner's success. It adds a touch of personal charm to the game, showing that even within the rules, football remains a platform for expressing real-life emotions. Get ready for another jaw-dropping trick that took the football world by storm. The neck stall. This move is all about balancing the ball on the back of your neck, as if it's glued there. The neck stall showcases a player's exceptional control and coordination. But here's the kicker. This move isn't just about showing off skills. It can actually be used tactically during a match to buy some time, give teammates a chance to get into position, or simply throw opponents off balance. While the neck stall wowed fans and fellow players alike, its use also raised questions about fairness. Some argue that using your neck to hold the ball goes beyond the traditional use of feet, head, and torso. As a result, different football organizations had different takes on whether this move should be allowed or considered a foul. No doubt, it got banned to give room to fair play. Let's talk about a classic move that's as effective as it is simple, the low header. In a game where aerial battles are common, this trick stands out for its sheer efficiency. Imagine a player timing their jump perfectly, using their forehead to direct the ball close to the ground, almost like a guided missile. The beauty of the low header lies in its precision. Instead of sending the ball flying high into the air, this move keeps it hugging the ground. It's not about the flashy theatrics, it's about getting the ball where it needs to go with. This trick is often used to pass the ball to a teammate or make a controlled shot on the goal. While it might seem like a simple technique, using your head to pass the ball when it's on the ground can be risky business, and you might end up with a booking. And here's a twist. Remember that nifty flick from the ground to your goalkeeper using your head? As crafty as it sounds, that's a no-go as well. The rules consider it a back pass, much like when a player uses their feet to send the ball back to their goalkeeper. So whether it's the simplicity of a low header or a clever flick, the game's guidelines make sure everyone's playing safe and fair. Now let's talk about the seal dribble. It's a move that's all about using the sole of your foot to gently guide the ball forward. Think of it like a seal smoothly gliding through the water. This trick isn't about speed, it's about finesse. Players can keep the ball close and controlled while moving gracefully. It's not the usual way to dribble, so it can catch opponents off guard. The ball's smooth motion makes it tough for defenders to predict the player's next step, creating a kind of fancy footwork that adds an element of surprise. Even though it might not be the flashiest trick, the seal dribble shows how precision and control matter in football. As players got more skilled with a seal dribble, they could keep the ball so close that defenders struggled to make a clean challenge. It gave the dribbler an advantage that wasn't in line with the principles of equal competition. So, while the seal dribble might have been a neat trick to watch, its impact on the game's dynamics and fairness led to its ban. It's a reminder that every move, no matter how cool, needs to be played by the rules of this beautiful game. But wait, there's more! Introducing the Donkey Kick Free Kick Trick! Picture this, a player lining up for a free kick, but instead of the usual boot to ball, they channel their inner acrobat and do a backward donkey kick! It's a jaw-dropping move that had everyone's eyes popping. However, this trick left the rule enforcers in a dilemma. Does it count as a legitimate free kick or does it cross the line into showboating? Ultimately, this trick got banned from football because, in the end, it's all about fair play.